Patuloy na umarangkada ang campus caravan ng Presidential Communications Office sa Tacloban City. Binisita ng PCO ang Leyte Normal University kung saan tampok rin ang mga iba't ibang booth ng communication agencies. Si Noel Talakay sa detalye. Naging masaya at interactive at punong-puno ng kalaman ang Media and Information Literacy Forum ng Presidential Communication Office o PCO sa Leyte Normal University o LNU, Tacloban City. I was speaking to LNU President um, Ms. Evelyn earlier and she was saying that the students were telling the teachers and the teachers were telling her that they prefer this kind of interactive caravan versus lectures. Isa sa mga dumalo si Alexandra, education student ng LNU. Minsan na rin daw siyang nabiktima ng fake news. Kwento niya, nabasa niya sa social media na may pasok sa school kahit katatapos lang ng bagyo. Since I knew that there were classes, so I went to school, I prepared a lot, and then I reviewed also. And then I, when I went to school, there were actually no classes. So it affected me in that way. Ayon sa survey ng Pulse Asia noong 2022, 86% o 9 out of 10 ng mga Pilipino sinasabi na problema sa bansa ang fake news at nangunguna ang social media sa pagpalaganap ng misinformation at fake news sa pamahalaan at politics. Kaya naman para kay Alexandra, mahalaga ang pagsagawa ng campus caravan ng PCO. It gave us an avenue wherein um, we can learn and the difference between factual information and fake news. Sang-ayon dito si LNU President na si Dr. Evelyn Aguirre. Aniya, napapanahon ito dahil naglipana na ang misinformation at fake news sa social media. Sa pamamagitan Aniya ng nasabing caravan, matuturuan ang mga manggagawa at mga sudyante ng universidad kung paano matukoy ang isang fake news. Give a lot of insights and uh, I suppose influence and recognition among our students in recognizing, as I have said, and discerning between authentic and fake news. And of course, it will promote ethical communication. Bukod sa forum, nagsagawa rin ang mga aktividad ang mga government communication agencies ng bansa, tulad na lang ng Radio Pilipinas, kung saan nasubukang maging DJ ng ilang estudyante. Internship is coming, and uh, ito na yun, ito na yun, parang... This is a practice sa kung anong mangyayari out there. It was a good experience because you get to to indulge in conversations with different people and you get to to practice your communication skills. Pinilahan din ng mga sudyante ang booth ng PTB4 ng mga communication student ng LNU. Tulad ng inaasahan, muling nagmistulang konsyerto ng mga sudyante ang audition booth ng konsyerto sa palasyo. Kasama rin dito ang Bureau of Communication Service, Philippine News Agency, Philippine Information Agency, Radio Pilipinas, Radio Television Malacanang, Department of Information and Communication Technology o DICT, at Freedom of Information Program Management Office. Mula rito sa Tacloban City Leyte, Noel Talakay para sa Pambansang TV sa Bagong Pilipinas.